Okay, hi everybody, we're back. So today, uh, we're going to complete our uh, mission to do proper encryption with the hybrid method of using AES for symmetric encryption and RSA for asymmetric encryption. So we're going to combine these two uh, today. So before we do this, I would like to ask if you could perhaps write a recipe or an algorithm for what has to happen in order for these two to work together. So what are the steps involved? Because once you write down the steps, then uh, you will understand how to code it. So I'll kind of go over an overview. Uh, of what has to happen and so the first things first right you've got one person over here you've got the document and you've got the the AES so here's the document and here's the AES key for that so that's one key now you will encrypt this document And then you're going to encrypt the key as well. And the document is going to be encrypted with AES. And the key is going to be encrypted with RSA. And then you'll send both of these things over to the other person. Okay, but obviously now remember, since you're using RSA here, right, uh, for encrypting the key, you're going to need something first. So think about that. And then once it gets to this side, okay, so the encrypted document and the encrypted key, the next thing that has to happen is you're going to have to decrypt the key back into the original key and you're going to need RSA to do that and then once you have the key then you can decrypt the jumbled document back into the original okay so that that would be the AES decryption okay so we did go through this in the first video but that's just a quick review so what I'd like you to do is just write down the pseudocode uh, recipe for, I kind of went over it here, but I'd like you to still write it down because it'll really help you write the code for this. Okay, so give it a shot before you continue with the video. Okay, so we're back. So here is the um, pseudocode or what you call, I just called it recipe. The sender first needs to uh, get the get the file to encrypt or to send so obviously you have to have something to send right then you need to create a random AES symmetric key and you, and you don't actually think of you don't actually create the password as a human you let the computer do that it's much better at creating a random uh, key than you are next thing you'll do is you'll get the recipients public RSA key okay then you're going to encrypt the uh, the AES key with the public key that that'll be RSA asymmetric encryption then you're gonna use the AES key to encrypt the file that you chose to send that's AES symmetric encryption then you're gonna write both encrypted AES key and encrypted and the encrypted file and and you don't have to do this but it just makes it easy as to send it as one bundle. I mean, uh, th there's no there's no rule that says you have to do it this way, but I am just to make it simple. I'm going to um, put them both into one file, so I'll write them uh, sequentially, and then I'm going to send this bundle uh, to the recipient, the person who gets it. Now, on the other end, what does the recipient do? 
Well, the recipient now is going to have to read the first 16 bytes of the bundle because that's how long the RSA encrypted AES key is going to be. Now, depending on what type of uh, AES encryption you use, so for example, if it's CBC, uh, Cypher Blockchaining, then you're going to need the initialization vector, which is also going to be another 16 bytes. Okay, and uh, you'll see actually I've, I've solved this both in CBC and also in AEX, sorry, EAX, which is, a, which is the modern um, authenticated uh, encrypt and digest. So then after you'll decrypt the AES key with your, priv with the, with your private now, this is the recipient, right, with this private RSA key. And then, then you're going to use the decrypted AES key to decrypt the rest of the bundled file, which is the document. And then finally, you can open the file. So that's the, that's the whole um, procedure. So having said this, uh, before I show you the solution, I think perhaps it's a good opportunity f uh, for you for learning to see if you, because remember, the last two lessons that we did were both were on RSA and AES. So now essentially you should be able to do all of this yourself. Really it's just a matter of kind of copy pasting the right parts into a new program that is a hybrid of both. Why don't you give it a shot before you take a look at the solution. Okay so let's take a look at the code here. What have we got? Well, on the left, we've got the sender. And, you know, I've got just a usage line here in case I wanted to change it to uh, use a sys.std in. But right now, I'm not doing that yet. So I'm going to import AES and, and pad for padding. Uh, I'm also going to uh, import. Uh, way to get random bytes to create the AES key and I'm also importing RSA okay the public key cipher so first thing I do is I'm gonna create uh, a random AES key 16 bytes okay 128 bit encryption then uh, I'm going to get the recipients public key now I've already downloaded that and I'm using uh, RPUB, so remote public. Reading that, and then with that public key, I'm going to create an RSA key, and then uh, with that RSA key, I'm going to create a, an RSA cipher, uh, and then I'm going to encrypt using that RSA cipher the AES key. And now I have my encrypted AES key. Okay, so now what do I do? Um, I'm going to open my file, in this case an image, and I'm going to read it. And now I'm going to create an AES cipher uh, in EAX mode. And I am going to encrypt so now, just, just before I continue here, just to say, you know, like, when I create this AES uh, cipher, I'm using the unencrypted AES key, right? On line 25, where's that coming from? It's coming from line 13. Okay, so that's the random one. Now remember, um, now, once that's encrypted, now, now I encrypt and digest, right? Because this is an uh, authenticated encryption. A e A X mode, and so now I'm going to get the encrypted data and the hashtag. Um, so now I am going to uh, create this new file called bundle, which is encrypted, and in it I'm going to start think putting things in one at a time. The first thing I'm going to put in is the 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 A E S key. Now. Curiosity, uh, how big is this thing? Uh, it's actually 256 bytes, and why is that? The reason for that is because, remember, the when I got that uh, 
this guy here, this remote public key from, the, from who I'm sending it to, that was actually, we generated our RSA keys, right? And those are actually uh, 2048 bit, which is 256 bytes. So that's why this, this encrypted AES key, even though it's only 16 bytes here, okay, it's 16 bytes, yes, but once you encrypt it uh, with RSA, uh, 2048-bit RSA encryption, it's going to end up being 256 bytes. So now, after we've stored the, the encrypted AES key, then we also need to store the nonce and also the tag, okay? That's from the EAX encryption. And then finally, that's when we put in the encrypted data, okay? So when, when we encrypted the image here on line 26. So we're done. Now let's go and take a look at the uh, recipient. Okay, so now on the recipient side, again, we import AES and public key uh, libraries, RSA. We don't need the random number generator on this side. And now we're going to open up bundle, which is the file that we sent over. So after we create this file, we're going to send this file to the recipient, this bundle file. It's got everything we need to unpackage it. Except the only person who can do that, of course, is the person with the private key that was used, uh, the associated public key here. So this is the intended recipient. And when they open it, they will first read the AES key, the encrypted one. And then, of course, the 16-byte nonce and the 16-byte the tag, which uh, allows for authenticity. And then they'll get the rest of the file, which is the data. In this case, it would be the image. And now they're going to open up their private, they're going to use their private key, so they're going to need to open their private key and create an RSA from their private key. And now they're going to use that private key to create the cipher, which is going to be used to decrypt the encrypted AES key here on line 23. And so now, since after they have decrypted the AES key, now they have the unencrypted, the regular AES key, which they can now use. And we'll go into a try accept loop here, right? Uh, to throw an exception if the, if the authenticity failed. And uh, they'll, they're going to put this unencrypted AES key to, to create a cipher that's going to be used to decrypt it. And of course, that's where the nonce goes. Okay, the number used once. And uh, remember, we, we kind of described what that was for in, a, in an earlier video. Uh, so they, we use that cipher now to decrypt the encrypted data image, providing the tag for authenticity. And now you get your data out, finally. And with that data, we're going to write that to a file called tux4png. So uh, let's try it and let's see if it works. OK, so here we're in the sender directory. And we've got hybrid sender and our image. OK, and uh, just to show you again what the uh, image looks like, there it is. And so now, uh, on the recipient's end, what do we have? Well, we just have the recipient uh, program. But this isn't enough. So we're, the, the, the recipient needs to create a RSA public-private key pair and, uh, and send the public one to the sender. Okay, so let's do that first. Okay, so we've now got our RSA key gen here. So we'll run that, Python 3, uh, my alias is just P, 
and I'll go uh, RSA keygen. And now when I run that, now I've got my private and public keys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my public key from here up one level to the sender directory, but I'm going to call it uh, remote pub.pem. Okay, so once that's copied, if I come over here, there it is, and that's what I that's what I hard coded for the public key to encrypt with to encrypt the AES key. Okay, so now remember on the sender side, the AES key is going to be randomly generated. Okay, so let's now run the hybrid sender. Okay, actually I forgot something here. I um, here on the uh, decryption side, I so I forgot decrypt and verify because remember it's got the hash the tag along with it. So on this side it's encrypt and digest returns the encrypted data and the tag, but on this side you have to go decrypt and verify the encrypted data and the and the tag for the authenticity part of it. So that I forgot to put that in, so let's save that first. Okay, and now let's, so, because um, I was getting uh, a decryption authenticity failure, so my exception through, so that's good. So I know that, you know, if, if you don't put that tag in there, that's not going to work. So let's go back, and now, and the uh, another slight issue here I had was that the I was using the wrong program. I was using uh, not not my EAX one, but I actually had a CBC version. Okay, so now let's actually try running this. So uh, let's first of all let's get rid of this uh, bundle and. So now let's, so what do we have here? We have our uh, remote public key that was copied over. And so now let's run the hybrid sender. And when we do that, we will get the bundle. Okay. So on the right hand side now, what do we have? We've got the recipient program, the public and private keys, which we generated and um, Actually, we don't have this yet, so let's delete that. Okay, so what do we got? That's it. So now what we're going to have to do is we'll copy the bundle over. So we'll copy the bundle to the uh, recipient folder. So now we sent the encrypted file over, and what do we have now? There's our bundle. Okay, so now let's decrypt it, Python, and we'll go hybrid recipient, and now we'll run it, and now you'll see that, sure enough, we have the tux file here. And when we open it on this side, ta-da, it's back. So we've been able to fully decrypt it using AES and RSA encryption combined. So this is the way that encryption is in, in, in modern world today is used and uh, this is an example of how to use them together. Okay so here on the left hand side once again as a review it's the sender and on the right is the receiver but I just wanted to go over quickly uh, just a slight issue that I ended up correcting on the receiver side. Again, on the sender side, it's encrypt and digest. Uh, and on the receiver side, it's decrypt and verify. Okay, I think I, I had forgotten the and verify before. So there you have it, full-blown encryption uh, any size object you want to encrypt, file, video, you know, document, zip file, tarball, doesn't matter. And basically we've 
we're combining RSA and AES together and so uh, this is how modern encryption works. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.